So everybody, um, tonight the cue board went down and it's President's Day. And um, so I've been doing all this research about it, trying to figure out, did, did it get taken down? Was it them doing it? What, did, what does it mean? Um, and the, the B Twitter account that was the one that we were following that had all the arrests and all that magically went back up. So I don't think it's an accident. I think B is Q, Q is B. That's what I think. Because that account had every single insight right into the White House and all the takedown and the arrests, and then so didn't Q. So anyway, um, here's what I've got. And I'm going to have to enlarge it because um, you can't see it otherwise. So it the HN thing went down and it just kept saying not found and then the next post said something about Snowden and the thing is I've been hearing and hearing did Snowden trade over did they go get him whatever um and it, it's heartbreaking because Snowden was the one that showed us about all the stuff way back and he's been hiding out apparently in Russia and living and always pretty much it looked like on our side. I mean, I didn't follow him a lot, but when I saw tweets from him, they seemed to be pro-constitution, talking about all the bad people and protecting us. But people kept telling me, you know, he switched sides and whatever, and I didn't see anything about it. And they had said one of the takedown things was that it took him out because he switched sides. So on here, it says, hey Snowden, where are you? Not Russia, eyes on. You are now a liability helping Jack. And Jack is Jack from Twitter, who's the deep state dark side doing all the vile things like YouTube and whatever. Um, and then it says, Project Deep Dream. The only thing I can think about that is drugs, drugging children, harming children, dreaming about children, pedophilia, whatever. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I've never heard of it. We will never forget ES failed means Eric Snowden. Where is ES? John Perry Barlow, define the end. The day of reckoning upon us. And so then we will go to the next one. And again, when hit that account went down, the B account went up and it showed things about Donald Trump. So then this is the second to last one. And it says, go with God. The clock is activated. Clean action approved, highest authority. Clean action approved is the way Donald Trump operates without crimes and filth and dirty money and all that stuff. I really, you guys, I'm not, these are the kind of things those kids do really well. I'm not a good Q interpreter. Highest authority is God and the president and then God and country. And then the last one says, for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not harm you plans to give you hope and a future protect 6 46 that's president trump's birthday and they said it twice and then it was q and then the account went down and then b's account went back up so um all we can do everybody is what we what q did since the beginning of q was build a team leave us the, the leads and all the little things that we needed to look at and watch and open up to. And all these amazing people interpreted them and then we all watched each other and we built up this absolutely massive internet, social media community. And it's so huge, they're absolutely going after us because they don't want truth to rise over their dirt. And what's happening is truth is shining. And these people just look stupid, every single Democrat. And they are unhinged hysterical. And it's ironic that I spent the last kind of like two weeks looking at the front of it on social media from Twitter instead of being here on the back and, and seeing all the cute things. I'm telling you, 
these people are unglued, hysterical, out of control mode. They're, it's almost like their tweets are between drunk and idiot. Um, some of them are just so embarrassing and stupid. They've gone from vile and scary and Antifa and whatever to just complete idiocy. And they look insane. And when their own speeches of anti um, immigration and all that are being played back at them and they just look bananas, um, they're falling apart. So we're going to have to wait and see what this means. My interpretation of it is that Q, Q thing is done because they ended it on President's Day and that all those things that B was sending us were actually the little parts of the takedown. And in the time where that account was shut down, my guess is that big things, big indictments happened and they didn't actually want to post them until whenever. And I believe they will be posted because her account is back up. And I think when President Trump said the storm is here, he meant them. We'll see. Happy President's Day, everybody. And please make sure you tweet to the president or put a post on Facebook. Even if you're not on those things because you don't like it, this day we do it to let them know who we are and that we care. We love our country. We love our president. And we are wide awake. Thank you.